Okay, basically you can call this Help Me Part 2. Considering... Okay. You see that? That's a little box. Little stuff. It's got in it... A radio. A pair of jacked up headphones. Um, let's see. A bunch of posters. Hair clips and stuff. Some stamps, a notebook, and a lot of magazines. Yeah. See that door behind me? That's a closet. It's the only place in the entire house I have to myself, myself alone. Because one, I live with my mother. I mean, I sleep, like, I sleep in the same room with my mother. Considering we only have a two-bedroom apartment, and my grandma has the other room. And I do not want to share a room with my grandma. Well, so that means she is obviously the higher authority or whatever, so she has most of the room. I basically have nothing. I'm not allowed to put posters on the walls. My dresser is basically inactive, considering the twins take it that now. It's like bogus. So the only place I have to myself is that closet. Closet, I had all my posters on all the walls, and it's smaller than it's like smaller than this computer screen like this little video screen that you see it's smaller than that and you know what we just got moved here we got in, moved in here and we're trying to find out where to put all these boxes where old stuff is because we downsized the house a lot they took they made me take down all my posters, which are like my babies, right? They, 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 they literally did this myself, themselves, and put them in this little crate where I used to keep my my dirty laundry clothes. And they tossed like all these boxes in there, and now I have no place to myself. I need space. I need space. Okay, seriously, this is not. Cool. I'm freaking out. I need my own space. I want Kira. I miss Kira. I need Kira. I need. If I don't get my freaking stress ball in like 20 minutes, I swear I'm gonna scream. And like, I have this little book that I have when I, that I had when I was like two years old that I used to love. I kept it in my closet so because I didn't want anybody to touch it. But look, my box of all my stuff in, that was in the closet, my special place, is on the floor. And guess who was teething on it? My little cousin Junior was teething on my special baby book. Those are things like sentimental. <clears throat> my cousin Trinity, I used to have this little bird that would, that if you put the beak on it, it would just balance. My dead godfather gave it to me. I never met him because I was like less than a year old when he died. And everybody loves him and he seems like such a wonderful man. And then she took that. She took that off my dresser. She started playing with it. She put it on the bed. She started jumping on the bed. And it broke in half. Last Christ like two Christmases ago. When I was like five, I gave my mom this beautiful angel glass ornament because my name's Angelica. It's a joke. I always gave her angels as a present. Well, I gave her that, and it's in this special velvet box one Christmas before I put it on the tree, which we never put it on the tree. I mean, it's stupid. Well, she took the box, she opened it, and didn't know it was upside down. It shattered everywhere. I swear, I went mental on that chick. No lie. I threw the hugest hissy fit in the world hissy fits. I was throwing punches. If my mom did not pull me away, I swear that kid would lose, would not have a leg, like lose it permanently. No lie. I'm still so angry at her. Oh my god, these people are driving me insane. And this is like four minutes long. I'm ranting on about how crazy, how crazy upset and angry and just so not space i am like for real i feel like you know, being claustrophobic <sighs> like for real no i it's like freaking out i just walk here oh i'm 
guess you're getting sick and tired of hearing my problems, but... That I should let y'all know something before I get rid of this video and put on um, Facebook and YouTube. Okay, so I have Facebook. Just broke up Angelica Mendoza. You see a picture of moi with this little curly haired boy at um, my profile, I think, and stuff. And info and wall and stuff. That's not private, so you can see. Check that out, but I don't add. But that's all I want to share with you. I want to let you know that we have a fan page on Facebook. Called the Kiki and Jelly Show, Catblock T and the Catblock K and Kiki, Catblock G and Jelly, not an and in show. I'll put, I'll put what it says down there. You can look it up. There's a picture of a dog, a cute little white and brown dog. That's my dog, Maisie. And um, check it out. So we post updates every now and then. Basically. Yeah, and if those who do not know about the Kiki and Jelly Show, it's a page where we basically, me and my friend Kara, do these crazy things. If you look at the very, 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 very new posts, I mean, very, 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 very old posts of videos down there at the bottom, maybe over, maybe over there, see right over there, or down there, it's going to be some videos. So check it out. Um, or just look at my other channels, the Kiki and Jelly Show. Yeah, uh, Peace Punch, Kevin Crunch.